What's up, weirdos? It's a tough day to be a Doja Kitten. Even more tough than recently when she told all of her fans that they suck and that they shouldn't exist. Remember when she did this? My fans don't name themselves SH, I can't say because it's really early on in the video. If, if you call yourself a kitten or a effing kittens, that means you need to get off your phone and get a job and help your parents with the house. And then a fan page said, I want to hear you say, I do love you guys, as usual, you say to your fans. And then she said, I don't though, because I don't even know y'all. That's not what Doja Cat's in trouble for today. That's light work. Me as a Doja Cat fan, while that was going on, I was like, yeah, get a job. It's not just that, because I have been a staunch Doja Cat supporter from day one, kind of day one. There's some stuff in the research for this video that I found out that I did not know back when when I was supporting her a lot. But I made a video on this channel about the big beef that she had with the kid from Stranger Things, Noah Schnapp. Do you remember when she went on Instagram Live and was calling him, you're a snake, you're a weaselly little. And people thought she was going a little bit too hard on him because he had shared screenshots of their DMs where she had said she wanted to get <laughs> that guy from Stranger Things. She wanted his number. And I made a video supporting her basically saying, yeah, she probably shouldn't have called him all those things, but I can understand why she was so hurt and upset by this breach of trust for reasons X, Y, Z. If you want those X, Y, and Z's, you can watch that video. But after what Doja Cat has done just a little bit ago, I think that I am like fully stepping back and not really being a Doja Cat like fan. Listen, I do believe that you can separate the art from the artist to a certain degree. And listen, say so, I'm still gonna be listening to say so. And even though she says that her old pop stuff was just like, it's BS, not art. It's just, you know, for like the charts and stuff. She was genuinely making music that didn't sound like anybody else. And I think that her music was great. And I still listen to it. And you know, Scarlet, her new album, great. A slap bopper. But Doja Cat as a person, I am fully like not gonna get involved in her, su supporting her anymore because this. She shared this picture of herself, which at first glance looks like Slay. But then if you look a little bit, you know, closer at the thing that's fully the reason she's taking this picture, that graphic tee of what we can only assume is a man created by the crusty spermling droppings on a public bathroom toilet, Sam Hyde. If you don't know who Sam Hyde is, that's okay. That's actually great, and I'm sure that your life is a little bit calmer. But if you don't know who he is, let me give you just a little brief breakdown. He's a Neo, and I would say the next word, but it would fully like get my video restricted. So every time that I say it, let's just use this. Yahtzee. Yeah, Sam Hyde is a edgy troll who is a Neo. Yahtzee. He's one of those guys who will say like, oh, I can just say gas the, uh, uh, and things of that nature, and so on and so forth. It's just a joke, guys. He's just saying the things that a neo Yahtzee would say, but then be like, I'm doing it in an ironic voice, so it's funny. So people who are in like edgy, like troll circles are like, uh -huh. but really what it truly is, is a dog whistle. And I made a video about this saying, you can't say everything's a dog whistle. Sam Hyde is a MFing dog whistle. He has one clip where he's doing a TED talk that's funny. And you can look at it and you can laugh and you're not a bad person for laughing. But but if you then see that and then go look at everything else that he's ever made online and are like, hey, this is so great. I think that's bad. And I think that's a massive red flag. And Doja Cat would not be wearing this shirt if she was not aware of who he is because without any context, this shirt makes no sense. And by the way, we're going to do a deep dive. Like I'm just setting up the context right now, but this is going to get like back into it. And we're gonna like fully break down what this whole situation is about. So I'm not just gonna give you a surface level explanation like some of these other drama channels. Cause I'm not a drama channel. I give you the f freaking stuff. Because the defense around her wearing this is just, oh, she doesn't know. How, how could she know? She doesn't know what she's saying with this. But I'm going to dive deep into why she for sure does know and why it is a calculated thing that she's doing. And she's uh, stupid. Really nailed the, stuck the, in the, uh, the, the landing on that one. God. The context of why she's wearing this shirt, though, is because it's a edgy meme where this picture gets shared around every single time there's a mass bang, bang, bang tragedy. There's just words that I can't say, you know, it's so frustrating. But every time there is a large scale tragedy, this picture gets shared around as the first picture of the perpetrator of it. And it's like, oh, it's like an inside joke for the fans of Sam Hyde. Cause it's like, it's not him. It's funny that we're sharing this around and acting like it's him. It's so funny, but it's for Sam Hyde fans. Like it's an edgy joke. I guess if you are a Sam Hyde fan, if you're not a Sam Hyde fan, then it doesn't really land and you wouldn't buy a t-shirt 
of it? And by the way, if you're looking at me going, oh, he's wearing a lilac colored shirt and a, and a beautiful pearl necklace available at weirdothings.com. We're running out of stock on these ones. And there's two other designs that are in stock right now. Go get them fast. Go get them quick. But first, before we get deeper into this topic, because there is so much to dig into, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare has classes on a wide variety of topics. Music production, if you want to learn how to make beats like Doja. Film and video, if you want to learn how to make stuff like Greta Gerwig. Or me. I'm not comparing my, uh, two different, uh, but also the classes about like creative career driven stuff like is really, really helpful. Whether you just want to start like a side hustle and you're figuring out how to, how to go about that, or you're already in there and are looking for like tips on how to improve yourself. It's really good for that. And I want to highlight one of the classes that I discovered while I was just exploring. It's writing extraordinary poems, create poetry that sets you apart by Nicole May. And I clicked it because I have had such a bias against poetry and like a self-loathing about myself kind of liking it. <laughs> like I, but when I did that class, it totally opened up my perspective on it. I think poetry is great. Like there are so many things on Skillshare that can just open up your mind. And they have a new offer for y'all for the first 500 people who use the link in my description. You'll get access to one of Skillshare's best offers, which is 30 days free and 40% off your first year of a Skillshare membership. The price for US customers will be $99 as opposed to their previous price of $165. It's a great deal. And thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into Doja Cat. <laughs> Anyways, you might be looking at a guy who looks like me and thinking, oh, well, he's so triggered. He doesn't like edgy joke. Okay, here's the thing. If you wanted to make an edgy joke like this or an edgy reference or a reference to online like niche meme culture, like she clearly wants to be doing, then I think that the decision you would make is to put the Germa shirt on a t-shirt and post that. This post, this is functionally the same exact joke where it's like, oh, it's not actually what they're saying. But this gets shared all the time and by, like in communities where people actually like buy it. And it's funny because that's Jerma. He's like a Twitch streamer who's just weird. People call me Yasified Jerma because apparently we're first cousins, but we're actually second cousins. Also look at his shirt, reds. <laughs> it's funny, it's funny. This is funny. This is the same type of joke. And it's functionally the same joke as the Sam Hyde one. The, the only thing that separates the Sam Hyde joke from this one is Sam Hyde and the neo Yahtzee. See implications of it. And here's the thing, you can find the lore of the Sam Hyde picture and be like, oh, that's so funny because it's not actually that, but you wouldn't be a massive celebrity and then print it out on a t-shirt and post a picture wearing it if you didn't do your research. She's not just being like a random meme. And you know why I know that? Because of her history of being in those types of subculture communities. What am I talking about? Oh, let's dive in. She got canceled three years ago for being in like racist, incel, misogynistic chat rooms, 4chan type communities on the internet. And if you don't know what 4chan is, praise God. But these chat rooms are the places where people go and it's like mask off Xbox game chat, like Call of Duty. Basically like people being racist and then being like, <laughs> it's so funny cause I said slurs. Hey, uh, what? And here she is in those chat rooms doing this. And by the way, extreme cringe warning anxiety, panic attack level inducing, like fucking terrible cringe warning. If you don't want your perception of Doja Cat to be changed forever, I would say, you know why the stuff before is bad. This is so painfully cringe. Listen, I've been cringe before. I've been so cringe online. There's not a day that goes by that I don't regret all my cringe moments online, but I have never, ever, ever moaned in a chat. Oh, I, I don't even wanna, I don't even, just watch. Yes, daddy. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, it keeps going. It keeps going. It keeps going. By the way, uh, these are this, these are clips, and she was in these chat rooms for like combined fucking weeks, like hours and hours and hours of her doing this with just freaking online incel gentlemen. I don't want to paint too broad of a brush, but if you are sitting in a gaming chair with gaming headphones on a subculture like niche chat room going, oh yeah, oh yeah, like jokingly being inappropriate. There's no way you were in real life kissing women. Like there's no way. So I'm just, gonna, I'm confident saying they're incels. Oh, by the way, real quick. This is so funny on Genius because she has a lyric that's boys be mad that I don't fuck incels and it got annotated on Genius. Doja has a history and present of only fucking incels. See Jay Cyrus, infamous racist misogynistic streamer who also is a and has consistently aligned herself with incels, incel humor and the like. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna get like into that, but yes, that's all accurate. So it's just so, it's so cringe. It's so cringe, but we have to, we have to keep watching this clip. I have a baby 
shirt is like a <laughs> oh my god and in these chat rooms yeah she's saying you know the and we're with a hard r listen if there's one thing about me it's that i am very very aware the doja cat's black it's not my place to come in here and say anything but i it's like been said very many times by people who are not me that that's weird to be in a uh, chat room of a bunch of incel whites and then being like oh this is like my ma. and then and a hard r i don't think it's out of touch for me to say that that is a red flag and weird this is not my battle to fight but i just wanted to you know present it because it is a massive part of this discussion where she was criticized heavily for this type of behavior which this is one clip where she obviously was comfortable saying it here clearly she was you know not an isolated well, not, no, sorry not an isolated incident is what i'm trying to say would you feed a tube into my ass with a funnel at the end and pour all types of liquor down there Whoa. yeah okay that was interesting so an entire 15 seconds where she said would you you know put a tube down my ass and pour liquor in it with the the username mom effer boss in a group of let's just let the group speak for itself and shout out stephanie hey stephanie shout out stephanie i'm not getting good vibes from what i'm seeing here especially how doja cat is talking in these it's like she's going in there and then wanting to just flirt with a bunch of incels and get attention from incels so it's like what and i know oh no who's to say they're incels who's they're just just because they're white and ugly doesn't mean they're incels and henry i don't think henry's white just from a quick look at him brother is not white but brother is in a setting that is a red flag for his personality and a red flag for doji you know what i mean it's just weird also the guy in the bottom middle his username orange drank with a seemingly do rag on his head again he's in love maybe he was just doing chores around the house and he had to you know put his hair up in a certain way. but the username orange drain accompanied with how we know doja cat talks in these things for laughs eh, eh. are you starting to see why it seems less and less possible that her whole sam hyde shirt wasn't just an innocent accident. Also, by the way, let me just say real quick, she has not apologized for the Sam Hyde shirt. She, it has been a subject of a lot of heavy criticism from a lot of people with a lot of attention on it. And she has said, Ain't nothing. So if she actually wanted to denounce that, didn't want to come out in support of a neo Yahtzee, she has had ample opportunity to do that. She's had so much opportunity to come out and say, oh, I just thought it was a meme, y'all. But she hasn't said that because she is explicitly doing it because it has this controversy and because it pushes away the soft little leftist little sensitive people that she apparently hates. And that's the thing, she's pushing away everybody. It's like she was famous for being a, you know, great singer who, you know, dances on stage in a way that a lot of people like, and then said, I'm not an I, I don't, uh, everybody get away. Like she just, ah, get off, ah, get off me. Like it's that kind of reaction. And when it's her like doing demonic imagery and stuff to trigger and offend like the hyper-religious right i think that that's funny she's not actually trying to worship the devil she's just laughing at you freaking out that she's you know oh devil worship she's not she's doing that because it's funny to trigger those types of people because they're like stupid but then she also thinks people who don't like edgy humor are also just as bad as them and here's the thing edgy humor can be fine but it's interesting that your definition of edgy humor is going into a chat room of a bunch of why you know incel i can say this chronically online bearded whites i can say that look that's that's not conjecture that's true chronically online bearded whites are not a crowd that you want to surround yourself in and she's electing to do that and then saying slurs for like jokes and like taking her clothes off for them which we're gonna get to in a second all of this like for attention from that type of crowd and saying that's edgy humor that's funny like oh this oh this is so funny i love these people this is the type of audience that she thinks edgy humor should be like dedicated towards. The bearded, chronically online whites. And listen, listen, I'm online, like all of those things, but it's a different type of context. You know what I mean? I'm not going in tiny chat and getting on there, laughing at women who are like saying slurs. You know, that's not me, but that's them. And those people suck. So for her to be electing to get that attention from those people, that sucks. And it speaks to her definition of edgy humor and her like ideal fucking audience for her like Sam High Church. You know what I mean? She's doing it for these people. Oh, but maybe she left that in the past. Did she? Did she? What about this from modern day Doja with her shaved bleach hair? Which by the way, her shaved bleach hair, great look and I do support it and I love it. You should take my asshole and you should fucking 
like make friends with it. Like it's a big deal. <laughs> oh, I told you it was gonna get cringe. She wasn't cringe three years ago. She said that so recently and we can tell by her hair. She's doing the LA voice too while saying like literally make friends with my asshole. Really? Yeah, I, I, I listen, listen, listen. That's crazy. Not in the way that I think she could be going forward that's cool. You could be crazy in a cool way. Girl, let your, let your freak flag fly. What's that from? Oh, it's from Shrek the Musical. Yeah, you can let your freak flag fly and that's great. But if you're saying, <laughs> I can't take it anymore. In a group chat that you were canceled for and then like, apologized for. Like, you come on. It's so frustrating. Your music is so good, Dojo. Your music has been so good. It is so good. And you are one of the greatest producers that's currently, like, working. Like, you are a phenomenal artist. And why are you doing this? Like, why? Just stop. Why do you want these people's attention? Why? People who go on frick, like, it's, it's this weird. And it's not like weirdos in a cool way like we are. By the way, subscribe, weirdo. It's like weirdo freak. <laughs> Weird! But, oh my god, okay, wait, we gotta go back, because we didn't even finish that clip of her, like, in the past, where she was being cringe. Let's, let's finish that one, and then keep going. I think I will boof you without call. <laughs> so hot. This is what people did when they first got Zoom, and were, like, looking at themselves in the camera, being like, Damn. Oh my god. Like, going so hot, and then, ugh. To that group of, I mean, people? They're people, and we love people, don't we? But these people? <laughs> but people defended her back then. Like, this is a tweet from back then that was a, a Doja Cat stan account, I guess, saying, everybody, Doja Cat is being racist on Tiny Chat. Doja on Tiny Chat, and then uh, this video. So he goes, huh. See, so oh, hold on, I go, uh, and he goes, huh, and he goes, burr, and he fucking everywhere dude you're right doja cat stan from 2020 that's not weird she's you know I, 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 I. listen 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 as they said in shrek the musical hey let your freak flag fly don't get but not like that <laughs> you know? because we know the context is that she also was in these video group chats also you know saying the slurs I, 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 but she also had made like a an apology she went on instagram live and apologized for this. Uh, what's your favorite Bianca song? People got mad at her for that. That was another thing that was um, this apology was for. Because I guess they thought that she was calling Beyonce the donkey. I think that's a little bit reading into it too much. I think she's just cringe and not funny and was trying to be funny. And we know her humor is like that incel 4chan humor. And for them, there's nothing funnier than mispronouncing a black woman's name on purpose. Hey, 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 Doja Cat is a black woman. Hey, 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 it's not my place to even say, it's not my place, it's not my place, it's not my place. But I am saying that like 4chan incel groups do think it's funny when you say like Sharkeisha about any black woman. So I, I, you know, I don't think it's funny, but that's me. So that's me. I also don't think it's funny when somebody says the N word with a hard R, but the people who were in those video calls clearly do. And that's why Doja Cat was saying it because she wanted to please them by saying the N word with hard R. So, you know, that's her type of humor, like the mispronouncing black women's names. So I don't think that it's crazy to say that she's trying to make jokes for an audience that is not necessarily, you know, good. But let's look at her apology. Cause guys, who knows, maybe she fully apologized for this and cleansed herself of all of her transgressions. Even though we know that uh, in the future she has gone back onto that tiny chat thing and uh, also posted a picture wearing the same high shirt. But now let's look at her apology and hear her out. And I learned that there are racist people who come in and out of the chat. They're, they're there. They happen and then they're banned. The idea that this chat room is a white supremacist chat room is i don't understand it in any way what about the way of how you were saying the n-word with a hard r for laughs in a group full of white men with beards who live in their mother's basements does that ring any bells oh no we're gaslighting that's the stage of this apology is the gaslighting of i don't even know how that could ever be construed a niche 4chan vibey video chat forum where i'm going on there saying slurs for the laughs of a bunch of bearded whites that's not possible i wouldn't even know what that looks looks like. Cut to three seconds earlier, her doing that. This is gaslighting. I didn't even know anything about this until I was doing research for this video. And if I had known it at the time, I would have been like, hey, but let's give her a chance. Let's allow her to try to manipulate us into thinking that she never knew what was happening at all. You know what I do understand is that there is racism that happens across tiny chat and there is racism that happens across Instagram. There's racism that happens across Twitter. This happens everywhere. Oh, wait, I never even knew that. There's racism everywhere? Racism isn't just on one website? Wait a sec, I didn't know that. This is what is called deflection and straw manning. Hey, but you're on Instagram right now watching this live and there's racist people who are on Instagram. 
So, are you racist? Well, I'm personally not going on Instagram lives with a group full of white dudes and beards saying the N-word with hard heart for laughs. But you are, and again, I'm a white guy. She is a black woman. It would be different if I was saying that. It would be. But her doing it isn't, you know, great. Especially when she's explicitly saying that that doesn't exist. But if it doesn't exist and you're not aware of it existing, why were you being the person saying the slurs for laughs in a room full of whites? Again, well aware, but this is the reality of the situation and she is lying here about the reality. And I'm just saying, here are the actual facts and video evidence. And here is her saying, Hey, that never happened, baby. Hey, that never happened. Come on, I'm gonna release a picture of my booba looba -loo Just give me the number one, baby. And you know what? That was a great move. I love her for doing that. Saying, hey, I'll show you my boobas. Just give me the number one. And then she gets the number one and is like, no, you fucking weirdos. That's great. I love that. That was hilarious. This stuff, eh, not so much. Let's keep going. Maybe she really wraps it up. Puts a little bow on it. <laughs> Puts a little bit of a stamp. A cherry on top. A ch- a ch- uh, uh, uh. Just watch. Watch! It just happens more on Tiny Chat because it's not as monitored. When you see racist sh on Tiny Chat, it's because people aren't paying attention. Pe there are mods that are idle. This this happens. Uh, why are you talking to us like we're stupid? It's just because it's not as monitored. People aren't watching while I say slurs and get laughs from rooms of whites. Nobody's looking. It's okay. Nobody gets mad at me on there so I can do it so it exists more so you're dumb you understand uh no miss cat i don't i don't really know what you, uh, you, what you mean but say so is a bot didn't even notice with your punches that you rolled with i got to keep you focused you want to start a hot eye i don't know listen this is why i just sit online and make necklaces available weirdothings.com go get them and don't make songs there was a time where i was a mod and i was able to ban people for actions like that or being her you know harassing women this happens a lot on tiny chat but tiny chat is a place for everybody why is she giving the nicole kidman amc speech right now we come to tiny chat to laugh to cry to care because we need that all of us. Somehow, heartbreak feels good in a place like that, you know? What are you talking about? There's a lot of stuff that happens on there, like people being mean to women. And I was a silent protector. I was a moderator who banned people. I was the Batman of Tiny Chat. Okay, well, cut to you saying the N-word with a hard R for laughs. So you say that, I hear it and I don't believe you. Oh, okay. This is just what gaslighting is. This is just an apology that's literally just lying so that you can be like, oh no, she's a good person. Because this is what a good person would say, but a good person wouldn't take the actions that she took. So she's saying things that a good person would say, but that's directly contradicting her actions because those are not the actions of a good person. And I don't want to make a big value judgment on saying she's a bad person. We all have our goods and our bads, but she is a bad person on tiny chat. And, I, and at the very least, she's a cringe person on tiny chat. And I could definitely put 10 toes down on that. But I think that it goes, you know, far beyond cringe. I think that's fair to say. Let's keep going. And sometimes it's hurtful to people. It's hurtful to my fans because of me. Because I, I spent time maybe not banning at the right... It, I, I've seen it and I've, I, I know that I've been targeted by it. I know that it's controllable. What are you talking about? No thought coherent in that last chunk right there. I, because, because, that's cognitive dissonance, Doja. What you're feeling right there is, okay, how do I, how do I, how do I say this? Because this isn't, I don't, uh. Okay, so you know that there's racism, misogyny, homophobia on there, and that it can be controlled. Does that change the fact that you were doing that stuff on there? Does it make you not doing that because you know about it? Like, what? Why are you trying to make yourself the victim in this situation? It's because of manipulation. Oh, that's what it is. No, 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 no. All the footage you've seen of me clearly being the bad guy, and then people being mad at me for the factual information that they have seen in video evidence. No, because... Uh, because we come to this place to laugh, to cry, to go like, what? Get, let's get off of this. Okay, so she gave an apology where she just lied a bunch. Oh, okay. But I know what you're saying. Was it just that one clip of her saying the hard R? Oh no, there's this other massive thing where she had written a song. It's bad, but I don't, I think saying it is, she had written a song called This, Didn't Do Nothing. And this, I've never heard of this. I didn't know anything about this, but in doing research for this video, I learned that it is a phrase that a lot of neo Yahtzee. Hey, we got to say that. It's a phrase that a lot of neo Yahtzee say, and is very popular on 
you know, communities. 4chan! It's 4chan! Like, 4chan. 4chan fucking neo Yahtzee! They say this all the time. Because it, you know, stands for didn't do nothing, but it's spelled didn't do nothing because it's like making fun of AAVE, and it's used to mock black people who commit a crime and then say they didn't do nothing. Something that neo Yahtzee say, you know, to make fun of police brutality victims, essentially. And she had written a song where that's the title and the lyrics are about that. I'm not even gonna go into that. That's a deeply uncomfortable thing, but that's what it is. I don't wanna go in and like read the lyrics and stuff. She apologized for that and basically said she was reclaiming it. Uh, the lyrics aren't very reclaiming though. The lyrics are very much just doing, just making fun of people who, you know, are victims in that type of situation. And then I guess later she's like, well, it's, you know, satire to mock people who say stuff like that. Okay, but you're just saying it and you're also in these 4 chan ass chat rooms and you're posting a picture of you wearing a Sam Hyde t-shirt and you're- The evidence has piled up so much that especially now in regards to what she posted with that Sam Hyde shirt, everything else is put in a new context where she no longer looks like somebody who's just this innocent victim of not knowing what she was doing. She clearly knew what she was doing and can no longer claim ignorance. And that apology just now looks like gaslighting because we know who she actually is. And it sucks because her music is so bomb. I love her music. God, I hate Prime by the way. I hate this so much. It's actually D-O-G-S-H-I-T. <laughs> Peace and love to KSI though. We love you KSI. I think I love KSI. I think I don't watch his videos. Listen, I don't know. I don't know. He seems charming. He seems like a charming young man. He, se he seems charming. I hesitate to say anything good about anybody in like the Logan Paul circle because uh, uh. But also that douchebag of a guy who was fighting Logan Paul posting all that BS about Logan Paul's fiance. That guy can go suck on my, I don't want to, I, uh, oh, I wish I was on tiny chat where I could say suck on my, and then continue but I wouldn't want to be surrounded by the people who are Refocus, refocus. Let's not go on a rabbit trail of Dylan Dennis. <laughs> also, another thing. Oh, his tiny chat changed? Maybe, maybe they fixed it and that's why she's come back. Well, look right here. Oh, bleh, actually, definitely got a blur of that. Uh, 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 what we're seeing in this picture is her turned away with her booty cheeks out, just fully showing the camera. With that guy underneath there, Wesley, who looks very intrigued. And then we have her today in another group chat with uh, Wesley. Yeah, same guy. Clearly the same circles that she's running in. Okay. Oh yeah, and she's, you know, the same high shirt. So obviously she's, the, but I just, just more and more evidence. I'm just trying to, you know, put all the facts out there for you. So long story short, I don't think that she should be canceled for, you know, getting demonic imagery to promote her stuff because it pisses off the people who she thinks are cringe. That's fine. I do not care about that. Like people who are upset about that and are upset about Lil Nas X twerking on the devil, grow up. The message was there to criticize you. This, on the other hand, just confirms all of the actual bad things about Doja Cat are true and that cancellation that she skirted by before should not have been skirted by. Or maybe you should, like we should give people second chances. You should call people out on stuff, but then you know, people are human and can be allowed to correct their wrongs. I do believe that. This proves that she hasn't though. And this proves that her apology wasn't sincere. And you know, as we look back at the apology, it wasn't even an apology, it was just gaslighting. And that's very sad because I love her music and I think that she is an interesting, wonderful artist. And she's not at the Kanye level, by the way. She's not there. People are equating her and Kanye, shut up. If you're saying it to say that you can no longer support her as a person in the same way that you can't support Kanye's person, totally agree. But his actions are like insane. Like Kanye himself, the person, has done and said worse things than Sam Hyde, the person. Uh, am I gonna, s I mean, they're comparable at least. Yeah, it's pretty bad. There's a lot of things I love about, you know, that's pretty much rock bottom of the barrel piece of S person. By the way, if you're gonna say that Kanye isn't like an incredible artist who's made a massive impact on music, you're just like saying stuff because you hate him. And that's fair. If you hate somebody, you can say things like that. Like, okay, it's justifiable to say really mean things about him, but undeniably his impact on music history is massive. And he's one of the greatest artists of our generation. Like that's, can say that. And then also say, I will never listen to his music or ever support him. And it's the same way with Doja Cat, where you can say that she has dropped some of the greatest songs of our generation. Like some of the most culture resetting and unreplicable sounding songs. She is an incredible artist. In addition to that, I don't think that she's redeeming herself as a person from her past mistakes. I think that she is cementing herself as the person that we thought that she was in the past. I say we, I didn't know about this stuff, but now I do. And it's just all kind of confirming itself as she is that type of person who thinks that edgy humor is everything that we've seen in the video. And I guess my thesis is you should have used the germa pick. <laughs> Subscribe weirdos, I love you very much. I do love you very much, and I've got a crystal ball. Where did I get this crystal ball? Oh shoot! Wait, that's cool as all get out. Whoa, whoa! Who thinks that this is cool? Hey, 
drop drop a drop a like and a subscribe and hit that notification bell if you think this looks cool. We may say blah 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 blah. It's a crystal ball. It's a crystal ball that tells me my future. And in my future it says, true love's kiss? <gasps>